Justin Rodriguez here for Varsity 845 with another edition of the Weekend Wrap. I woke up pretty sore this morning. Why? I think it's just from all the hitting I watched between Monroe Woodbury and Pine Bush on Friday night. It was certainly a good one with Monroe Woodbury winning 26-14 to clinch its 7th Class AA Division I regular season title in 8 years. Meanwhile, Pine Bush was eliminated from the Class AA playoffs. Of course, the Bushmen beat the Crusaders last season 2016 to win the Class AA title. MW pulled away in the second half with two rushing touchdowns by Kevin Carr and a fumble recovery by Ricky Giraldo, which he returned 45 yards to the house. It was really good from last year. You know, they beat us in the section finals. And now to come here and beat them on their home turf and just take them out of the, out of the playoffs and all that is very nice. It's really good. It's a good feeling. And now we beat it. We got our first goal. And now we're just going for the second goal section, section title. Up next, Monroe will await its playoff opponent in the Class AA semifinals. Whoever Monroe Woodbury plays, they obviously will be the favorite. Uh, it feels good to win this game because you know, it's in the you know, section championship last year. It's good to get like, a little bit of revenge, maybe. And uh, winning the division is what our you know, first goal is, you know, to win the division and make it a section. Let's hope we win the section. Washingtonville could have punched its ticket for a shot at Monroe on Saturday with a win over Valley Central. But it didn't happen. The Wizards spotted Valley Central 20 points before mounting a furious comeback. But Valley Central escaped with a 2017 win behind two touchdown passes by sophomore quarterback Ken Gray. You know, any, any given Friday night, usually a Saturday today, we, you got to keep fighting. You can never give up and never put your head down and just keep fighting. What about Warwick next week? I mean, any given Friday night. Everyone's looking at us at the underdog. We like that position. We like it. we got to play with something to prove. Um, this is the greatest feeling there ever has football has to offer and we worked so hard this week and it really put, paid off you know you just come out and pull out a win a win by Valley Central next week over Warwick would give the Vikings the Class AA Division II regular season title and set up a meeting with Newburgh in the Class AA semifinals. A Warwick win gives the Wildcats the title and a rematch with Newburgh. Newburgh beat Warwick 47-21 Friday night. The Goldbacks led 34-7 at halftime. Washingtonville makes the playoffs and faces MW with a Warwick win over Valley Central. As for other big games on Saturday, it didn't have playoff implications, but it was for bragging rights. Burke Catholic defeated Goshen 32-7 on Saturday at Fowler Field, behind 210 rushing yards and three touchdowns by Matt Prisbaki. The all-time series is now tied, two apiece. You know, this game means a lot to us. They drive by our practice every day, hollering at us and everything. So it feels very good. Our senior year, it means a lot to me, and we took care of business. So. You know, but Goshen, we're in the same town as Goshen, and they don't like us. They holler at us every day. So we just try not to talk and our game take plan them on is, the field. Our game plan is the same. Like, we prepare the same for every team, come out and win. Uh, you got a little chip on your shoulder for this game just because of the competition there and the rivalry, but we prepare the same for every game. Uh, we come out strong and hard and just hope to win. In other highlights over the weekend, Cornwall quarterback Mike White connected with Chris Bauer for five touchdowns in a 49-0 Class A win over Sargent. Five touchdown catches by Bauer is a new Section 9 record. White's older brother, Joe White, had held the record. He caught four touchdown passes in a game in 2010. With the win over Sargent, Cornwall clinched the Class A regular season title. 
And how is this for a big night? Menacing Valley's Kyle Gaynor rushed for 390 yards and seven touchdowns in a 51-33 win over Walkhill on Friday. Friday night was also a wild one. Middletown held off Kingston 39-36 at sparkling Fowler Field. Kingston was down 17 players, including 11 starters, who were suspended for breaking team rules earlier in the week. A Kingston win would have set up a showdown on Friday at Newburgh for the second and last Class AA playoff spot in Division I. However, with the Kingston loss, Newburgh clinched that coveted playoff berth. Well, that's it for this week. This is Justin Rodriguez signing off for Varsity 845. See you next week, and thanks for watching.